Hello, Calculus Kids. This is Mr. Bean, and welcome to the shortest lesson of the year. At least it'll probably be the shortest lesson of the year, because all we're doing is nothing new. We're just reviewing everything we've done so far with derivatives. So there's not a lot I have to teach you here, except that I want to remind you some things that we've done. So we've had Unit 2 and Unit 3 where we focused on derivatives. What I want you to do is pause the video and come up with as many as you can just for Unit 2. Just focus here on Unit 2. Don't worry about Unit 3 yet. Write down as many things as you can remember of how we took the derivative little shortcuts, rules, things like that, okay? Don't go back and look at notes. Don't look at the website, nothing like that. Just write down what you can remember uh, off the top of your head. Okay, go. And here's what your answers should have looked like. At least you got hopefully some of these things written out like product rule, quotient rule down here. Uh, we've learned how to take the derivatives of logarithms, exponents, trig derivatives, sum and difference, constant multiple, where you have a number in front of a variable, a constant derivative of a constant is just zero. And then the good old power rule that we use all the time. Okay, so now unit three, let's jump to unit three. What have we done over the last four lessons? What are the topics that we've covered? Don't look at your notes. Don't go back and look at the website. Just write down what you can remember, and then uh, I'll have the answers appear. So pause and go ahead and try it out. And there we go. We've done the chain rule, where we have a function inside of a function, composition of functions, implicit differentiation. So instead of solving for y and taking the derivative, we just go ahead and take the derivative and then a dy dx. We've done the inverse, where you have 1 over, you remember that stuff, 1 over f prime of f inverse. And then inverse trig, which we did just that this last lesson. What you're going to do in today's lesson is you're going to be given a variety of types of problems and you just have to recognize what to do based on the problem. What does it give you? What of these shortcuts and skills, which of, of all these procedures do you apply to the problem? That's what you're doing in this lesson today. And they're all test prep type problems. So they're gonna give you a really good feel for what you might see on an AP exam, the types of problems you could see there. Okay, so that's all, that's everything. That's it, rock that master check. And I'll see you back in one more lesson for unit three.